Hey everyone, welcome back to FX Limit, your go-to place for everything Forex. Today, we're diving into a topic that's crucial for any trader looking to sharpen their technical analysis skills, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD histogram, and how it can be used to confirm trend direction and generate trading signals in Forex trading. So, what exactly is the MACD histogram? It's a powerful technical analysis tool that traders use to spot changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend in a currency pair's price. The MACD histogram is based on moving averages, which smooth out price data to create a single flowing line, making it easier to identify trends and predict their future direction. The MACD histogram is derived from two lines, the MACD line and the signal line. The MACD line is the difference between two exponential moving averages, typically the 12-period and 26-period EMAs. The signal line is usually a 9-period EMA of the MACD line itself. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it's a bullish signal, indicating it might be time to buy. Conversely, when the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it suggests bearish momentum, signaling a potential sell. Now, let's focus on the histogram, which is the centerpiece of today's discussion. The histogram is a graphical representation of the distance between the MACD line and the signal line. When the histogram is above zero, the MACD line is above the signal line, and when it's below zero, the MACD line is below the signal line. The height of the bars in the histogram shows the strength of the trend. One of the key ways to use the MACD histogram in Forex trading is to look for divergences. This happens when the currency pair's price and the MACD histogram move in opposite directions. For instance, if the price of a currency pair is making higher highs, but the MACD histogram is making lower highs, it's known as bearish divergence and could signal a potential trend reversal. Another powerful signal from the MACD histogram is the zero line crossover. When the histogram crosses above the zero line, it suggests bullish momentum and could be a buy signal. On the flip side, when the histogram crosses below the zero line, it indicates bearish momentum, potentially signaling a sell. Traders also watch for the histogram bars to shorten in height, which signals that the current trend is losing momentum. For example, during an uptrend, if the bars of the histogram begin to shorten, it could indicate the uptrend is running out of steam and a reversal or pullback may be on the horizon. The MACD histogram is also great for confirming trend direction. When both the MACD line and the histogram move in the same direction as the overall trend, it can be seen as a confirmation that the trend is likely to continue. For example, in an uptrend, if the MACD line and histogram are both moving upwards, it reinforces the strength of the uptrend. Remember, while the MACD histogram is a powerful tool, it's not foolproof. It's always best to use it in conjunction with other technical analysis tools and indicators. Combining the MACD histogram with support and resistance levels, trend lines, and other indicators like the Relative Strength Index, RSI, can provide a more comprehensive view of the market and help make more informed trading decisions. In conclusion, the MACD histogram is an invaluable tool for Forex traders. By understanding how to interpret its signals, especially in terms of trend direction and momentum, you can make more informed decisions about when to enter and exit trades. Always remember, successful trading is about understanding the tools at your disposal and using them wisely. Thanks for tuning into FX Limit. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful Forex trading tips and strategies. Until next time. Keep your trades smart and your risks managed. Happy trading!